So using PowerShell to find group policy objects in your domain that aren't linked to any OUs is actually really easy, especially if you've ever tried to do something like this with the GUI. When you're talking hundreds of group policy objects and potentially hundreds of OUs, yeah, using PowerShell makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to walk you through the stuff you need to know to be able to do this, and then, of course, bring it all together into a function. So first off, getting all of our group policy objects, uh, we just got to use the git gpo commandlet with the all parameter. And you can see I'm also piping this to the format table commandlet, so it just gives us the display names of our group policy objects. And so then I'm going to assign that output to a variable. I'm doing that so that we can get an XML report of that group policy object. So then if we use the git gpo report commandlet and then specify a group policy object, so you can see there I'm indexing into the first gpo in that gpo's variable and specifying the ID parameter. And I'm using the report type parameter to specify an XML report. So running this uh, gives us some nice XML data of that group policy object. And you notice know, how easy this, this is to read, right? And we know exactly what this group policy object is doing now, don't we? Well, not really. <laughs> XML is great for computers, not so great for people. So I'm going to assign this to a GPO report variable. And you don't notice in front of GPO report, I've got the XML type there. That's just so that PowerShell converts that XML data into an object. And so here we can look at that object and see that we now have something that's a little easier to work with. And if we look at the GPO property, we can see that we've got some nice data here. And the links to property, that's the specific property we want to look at. This actually lists out all the OUs that group policy object is linked to. So you can see there's three of them for this group policy object. If we were to select a group policy object that didn't have any links, like I believe index of one does not have any links. We'll, we'll look at that uh, links to property. Ah, there isn't one on this one on uh, the index of one. So we've got a group policy object here that isn't linked to anything. So we know that when they're not linked, they don't even have the links to property. So we can use that information to actually list all of them that are linked. So here I've got a for each loop. We're looking at all of our group policy objects using the git GPO command that specifying the all parameter, just like before. And then for each of those, we're going to get the GPO report specifying the XML type and passing it to our XML object. And then I'm saying if that GPO report dot GPO dot links to, if that's false, then output that group policy object. So if that property does not exist, output that GPO. So if we run this snippet, you can see that it outputted, let's see, it was at least one, just one. So that's my group policy object that isn't linked. You can see I called it unlinked. And so now we can wrap that in a function. We've got a really simple function that all it does is list out those group policy objects. And I mean, it's not really that complicated either, but uh, it's something that you want to be able to reuse. So I always recommend wrapping it in a function. So we go ahead and import that into our session. We can now run the git unlinked GPOs commandlet and list out all of our group policy objects that aren't, don't have any links. And so you could use that information to automatically delete group policy objects or to send a report. All kinds, there's a lot of things you can do there. That is how you use PowerShell to find group policy objects that have no links.